I've always been fascinated by outer space, and humanity has always been fascinated by outer space. Throughout history, the stars have been our maps, our calendars, our inspirations, our way of understanding the laws of nature, and even a way of finding meaning in life. And a star is what allows life on Earth to exist in the first place. Space-themed sci-fi and fantasy stories draw on our natural curiosity about what worlds could be out there. And the same is true of video games. Today I want to focus on Super Mario Galaxy. Space Whimsy I have a special connection to Super Mario Galaxy. I was 11 years old when it came out, and I connected with my family by playing it. And as a little stargazer with a big imagination, I was in awe at how the game plays with gravity, flying, even ice skating through the universe. I was enamored by the music and sound effects, the characters and places. With no need for oxygen or atmospheres, Mario effortlessly glides from place to place, collecting all manner of star-shaped trinket along the way. This was a game with a unique flavor of space whimsy. Because, let's get one thing straight, this isn't a scientifically accurate depiction of outer space by any means. Plenty of people have critiqued the inaccuracies of how the gravity works, or those teeny tiny planets that would explode if they were real, or the use of the term galaxy for what's really a cluster of planets and asteroids within a solar system. That's absolutely true, there are some things about this game that could be seen as misleading from the perspective of teaching kids science. But even as a science-minded person, I love the imagination and creativity on display here. And it's clear that even as a whimsical work of fiction, the game does draw from real astronomy here and there, even if just because that's our only real reference for what a universe looks like. And as a result, this work of space-themed fiction celebrates celebrates the discoveries and the spirit of astronomy. So let's look a little closer. The Black Hole The way Mario loses his life in this game is one that many have pondered when considering the mysteries of outer space, even though it's very unlikely that any human would encounter it. And that's getting sucked into a black hole. In astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson's book, Death by Black Hole, the titular chapter begins like this. Without a doubt, the most spectacular way to die in space is to fall into a black hole. Where else in the universe can you lose your life by being ripped apart atom by atom? That is, well... Too bad is a bit of an understatement. Probably one of the worst things that Mario has had to endure. Though thankfully we don't have to see him being ripped apart. Although a similar effect happens when Mario touches the game's version of dark matter. More on that later. Even as an astrophysicist, Tyson has to imagine what it's like to endure something that no human ever has. Mario's universe seems unnaturally littered with black holes. Maybe they're like the quicksand of space, something we fearfully imagine encountering far more than we actually do. Mario unfortunately has to deal with both. And black holes do indeed exist at the center of galaxies, though again, the game has an odd definition of galaxy that seems more like a cluster of very small planets. Mario Galaxy's black holes closely resemble the real thing, if in appearance only. Consider the fact that we got the first real-life photo of a black hole over 10 years after this game came out. It looks like this, and would be expected to look like this without the blur. The resemblance really goes to show how well science could detect for us what the black hole would look like before we could even take a proper picture. Even a video game could create a reasonably accurate depiction of these mysterious and ominous holes in space-time. Dark Matter Dark matter is something. Something that must exist for the universe to make sense. For the gravitational pull we observe between stars and galaxies to make sense. But we don't know what it is. More is unknown than is known. Here NASA is referring to the 95% of our universe that we don't understand yet. Isn't that exciting? 
It's up to science to discover what dark matter is, but until then, it's up to all of us to ponder the mystery and imagine a story to explain all this seemingly empty space that simply must contain a new form of matter for any of it to work. The movement and arrangement of the stars and galaxies. Similarly to the black hole, dark matter is one of those things that makes us very curious about the mysteries of the universe. In Mario, the term is used to describe this dangerous, dark substance, causing Mario to instantly lose all his life. Like the rest of the game, it's not based in any physical reality. Instead, it plays with the concept of the mysteries of our universe. The dark and mysterious is often portrayed as something to be feared. When Mario falls into dark matter, he disintegrates into dust, like he got Thanos snapped. It reminds me of how real dark matter is invisible and undetectable. That's why we don't know what it is. So maybe Mario didn't really die, he just lost all detectable existence, became invisible non-perceivable, like dark matter, and therefore might as well be gone forever. It's a good thing there's one-ups. The Galaxy Within Galaxy At Comet Metal on Twitter has sourced several textures throughout Super Mario Galaxy, many of which can be identified as real photographs of space objects. For example, on the title screen of Super Mario Galaxy, if you look closely at the word galaxy, you will see a galaxy. This is sourced from a real picture of Andromeda, our Milky Way galaxy's closest neighbor. Similarly, a photo of Halley's Comet can be seen from the kitchen dome in your hub world, the Comet Observatory. For a space station that's narratively shown to be built on a comet, it's nice to see a real comet flying by. The game even begins with a star festival celebrating the comet that returns every 100 years, similar to how we celebrate Halley's Comet, which returns every 75 years or so. In a practical sense, many of these are simply textures downloaded from a stock photo website to easily represent outer space without needing to create original illustrations for every background in the game. However, more poetically, I think it's a wonderful reminder that even a fantastical, cartoony depiction of the universe draws from reality and the amazing things astronomers have discovered over centuries. Our own universe watches distantly as you explore this fictional collection of imaginative galaxies. Imagination has always been in the spirit of astronomy and of science in general. Before we know what's out there, we have to imagine what could be and follow our curiosity, kind of like scientists are doing right now with dark matter, for example. The energy of stars. I love the interplay between whimsical, cartoony depictions of space with imagery that's based in reality, and stars are a great example of this. Stars are these lumas and these power stars, both clearly meant to represent the simple, symbolic five-pointed star, our go-to representation of stars in cartoons and 2D environments. There's also the star bits, of course, I covered the inspiration of these in another video. But there's also this. The power stars feed into a beacon in the Comet Observatory, helping to power the space station. This beacon more closely resembles the appearance of a real star, a sphere with dynamic, energetic motion along its surface. And as it's fed with more stars, the beacon's color changes to that of a real star with more energy, or higher temperature. Red indicating the lowest energy, while blue is the highest. This graphic from at Mario Broth blog shows how these colors correspond. I think the fact that other aspects of the game are more cartoony and cute provides a nice contrast to the beacon and other elements that draw from reality. The color of the universe. Early in Mario Galaxy, Mario meets a Luma that accompanies him on his journey and gives him the ability to do a spin attack. The Luma is a warm, dull, pinkish cream color that I've always thought was a little bit odd given the bright blues, greens, and yellows we've seen of other Lumas, or even the deeper pink of the Hungry Luma. It just seemed like a somewhat bland color, though perhaps a good way to ensure it doesn't stand out too much alongside Mario and everything else going on in your intergalactic adventures. At Mario Broth blog points out that Mario's Luma color is rather similar to 
cosmic latte, the color that scientists in a 2002 study found to be the average color of the universe, taking into account things like light from stars and visible clouds across hundreds of thousands of galaxies. Given that this little luma helps a lost and alone Rosalina build a new home and helps a lost and alone Mario save the world, it's as if the whole universe was by their side. There's no evidence that this color choice was intentional, and I think Luma leans a bit on the pinker side, honestly, but I couldn't not mention this interesting tidbit that really made me smile to come across. Just a lovely thought. Welcome new galaxy. At the end of Super Mario Galaxy, Bowser's own star-like world explodes in something of a supernova and forms a giant black hole that begins to consume the entire universe, including Mario and his friends. The Lumas sacrifice themselves to save the universe and sort of reset it. Rosalina says, When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. Yes, all new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. The culmination of all this astronomical inspiration is a beautiful celebration of the life cycle of stars. Stars are the universe's source of key elemental building blocks, including carbon, the main component of all life on Earth, including us. Stars form, burn fuel, and disperse these materials as stardust when the fuel is used up. The most massive stars will explode into a supernova, possibly even forming a black hole like the one in Mario Galaxy. The distributed elements become planets, asteroids, life like us, and new stars. Rosalina speaks directly to us one of the most poetic truths about our universe. Similar to planetary scientist Carl Sagan's words, we are made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. The perfect send-off for this space fairy tale, bringing together stars and lumas and black holes and connections to our real beautiful cosmos, the discoveries we've made about our universe, and the mysteries that still remain. The game perfectly portrays wonder and curiosity about the universe and celebrates the way humanity has always used our imaginations to fill in the blanks and explore what's possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and consider subscribing to my channel where I do plenty of other game discussions and explore real world connections in games just like this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.